First, you will always want to start out creating a project by entering an address, naming your project, and putting in your customer's name. You can also choose whether this is a residential or commercial project. In the left-hand toolbar, you've got two tabs labeled Consumption and Design. You'll be following these in order. First, go to Consumption. Here, you have the options to estimate consumption using an electric bill, manually input 12 months of utility data, or upload interval data in CSV or green button data format. Here, we'll estimate using an electricity bill. You will want to select the utility provider and utility rate that most accurately represents the project's consumption profile. Enter a single month's electric usage or utility bill. Based on location, Aurora will extrapolate the remainder of the year based on average usage curves for the typical household in the region. Next, we will want to jump over to design in the left toolbar. First, name your design. You can create multiple designs later. Note that in the left-hand corner of your screen, you will see Site and System. Let's start with Site. This is where you will outline the structure of your roof using Aurora's Smart Roof tool. You can also add obstructions and trees. Use the compass icon in the left hand side of your screen to move from 2D to 3D. In 3D, you can use street view and other measurement tools to model the structure accurately. For our premium users, select LiDAR to help adjust pitch and height with unprecedented accuracy. These data points will help guide you on how to adjust the pitch and tilt of your roof structure, as well as the heights of trees and obstructions. After you have created your site model and added trees and obstructions, click on System in the left toolbar. Here, you are able to generate a shading analysis, place panels on the roof, and simulate energy output. To get started, click on Irradiance in the top middle of your screen to find the most efficient area on the roof to place your panels. Use the Irradiance function to generate a shading analysis. This will simulate the sun's path for every daylight hour of the year and may take a moment to load depending on the location and size of the site. Next, place modules on the roof. You have many options for adding panels. I'll go with the fill roof face option. You can also choose to add or edit modules manually. Finally, string your modules and connect your inverter. I will use our auto string option. Select an inverter and allow Aurora to optimize my performance. You can also choose to do this manually. You can select our animate feature to see what this will look like in action by simulating sun paths. Homeowners typically enjoy seeing what their home could potentially look like. Click on Simulate in the top right-hand corner of your screen to use Aurora's performance simulation to get system performance information. Choose the drop-down next to Simulate. You'll be able to access 
annual production information, energy offset percentage, monthly production values, and system loss diagram. You can also export monthly and hourly production data. Next, enter pricing information. You can enter pricing using cost per watt, line items, or as a flat amount. Next, generate a financing option, such as a cash deal, loan, PPA, or lease. Click Run Analysis to finalize your numbers. You can run as many financing scenarios as you prefer. To create a fully generated sales proposal, go to the Documents section. For our premium users, you can also access a bill of materials, shade report, and single line diagram. Finally, generate your proposal. This takes all the previous information and creates a finalized proposal for your customer. If you need to save this as a PDF and email it, you can do so using the print icon at the top right corner. For more help, check out help.aurorasolar.com or email support at aurorasolar.com for any questions.